Today I wanted to share uh, some experiences that I've had. This is um, explains what unconditional love kind of looks like. Um, I've had four children and the way I wanted them raised, I wanted them to feel as much love as possible. I always said positive things to them, seeing the positive things they were doing and always wanted to make sure that they were as happy as possible. Meanwhile, I'm married to a man that is only focused on his own life, so he couldn't really comprehend what it meant to be a father and to provide for them and to make sure their needs are met and to make sure they were happy. He was always making sure he was happy, and so th this left these kids really, really starving for love from their father. They knew that they could get all of the love that they wanted from their mother. They trusted in that. So there was no focus, no attention was put towards loving me. Um, but there was more focus on this lack of love that they had for their father. And while they had this lack of love, they started developing the same behaviors as their father. Now, one story happened on um, my daughter um, had pushed me across the room. I fell on a cement floor. You know, my head hit the cement. And every time my kids are, you know, somewhat attacking me, my ex-husband is always playing some kind of game in the background. And, you know, to the universe, it always looks like he's doing nothing. And yet behind, you know, the curtain, he's always up to doing something and always making me look like I'm the crazy one. Um, when you beat somebody, you know, they end up crying, you know. So if I ended up crying after any really traumatic event, then our medical world will confirm his constant words, oh, you're depressed or oh, you're mentally ill or, you know, and when the medical profession sees you, they're anxious to give you a pill for it. And I've kind of questioned the doctors and said, now, come on, isn't that normal behavior? If somebody treated you really bad, isn't it our human instinct to sort of cry about it? Um, if you, you get punched, doesn't your brain, your, your bones break? Or, you know, like if you do some damage to another person, then there's an effect. And it, I'm not one that sits around and cries, but, you know, it, it does devastate you. And in the moment, that's the first thing you do when you're worn out is you just cry. And, but always look for the positive, you know, and learn from every experience. So what had happened uh, when my daughter, you know, was doing this behavior, I was trying to get counselors to help, you know, my kids sort of recognize their behavior. And then counselors would tell me, well, as long as you know it's happening, that's all that's important. And it's like, well, basically, you just told my kids that it's not important what they do to me as long as I know it's wrong. Meanwhile, I go back home and get the same treatment. And I was explaining this story, you know, what was happening with me and my daughter. And my son ended up saying, well, Mom, you deserve to be pushed around. You're a person that needs to be pushed around from time to time. And it's like excuse me, where are you getting that information from? And he told the story that his father wanted the keys to the car and I was refusing to give it to him. And he was um, battling me for these keys. And I kind of had to remind my son that, wait a minute, that was my car. He came into this marriage with no vehicle, no furniture, nothing. Everything that was in that family was from me. And I worked. I worked just as hard, if not longer hours. He might have earned more money, but we pay men more than we pay women. But I worked more hours during the day. I, you know, might have driven a school bus for, you know, six hours and not eight. But I still was up earlier than everybody else. I still took care of the kids, took them with me all the, 
everywhere I went I made all the food I did all of the grocery shopping I did all of the cleaning I was the one working to make sure all six people in the family were happy while everybody's just sort of having the easy life and saying mom doesn't work so um, I know that particular moment where my ex at the time was my husband wanted the keys to my car he wanted to go fishing and be gone for the whole friggin day and meanwhile I have kids to feed and I needed groceries and you know I needed my car to do the work that needed to be done to maintain this house and anytime my husband you know had time off he always had time off for himself he would not take any kids with him he would just be off partying with his friends and needed the car all the time to do it with so this is how we sort of uh, um, raise our kids is they perceive things without understanding what the full picture is really like so my kids are viewing life through their father's perspective and they can't understand my perspective and nobody's listening to me which brings me to you know why am I doing this and why am I sharing this story I'm pretty sure my kids will not be happy when I tell stories like well my kids think that it's okay to push me around I'm a person that needs to be pushed around um, and I am saying, well, if you can say those words and treat me to that, can't I have the right to tell the story and share my point of view? My kids right now want me happy. I know that they want me working. And pretty much the only thing I know right now is all of my experiences and the science that kind of explains why we're doing all of this. And we're dealing with a, a global problem right now. We kind of have to know why we're doing the things we're doing. So I do think what I know is somewhat in demand. So this is where unconditional love comes in. Can I love my children no matter what they do to me? And yeah, I understand where they're coming from. I understand it's learned behavior. I understand they're missing information. And I, I understand they, you know, forgive them for they know not what they're doing. And it doesn't mean that I have to uh, take the abuse. That, you know, there is a law of attraction. There are things that I fail to do, be strong enough to, um, let them learn what they need to learn about unconditional love and my videos and my channel and telling my story is sort of my way now of teaching my children that you need to learn what unconditional love is can you love me even if I tell my story can you love me if my story is different than yours you know that is what unconditional love is all about can you love the other person that's doing you know what doesn't feel comfortable to you and you know how would the world change if we viewed you know all of these bad guys from a perspective that they just don't know what they're doing and they're lacking love and they need to learn what love is all about and this unconditional love is not something you do for somebody else it's something you do for yourself if I didn't have unconditional love for my children, knowing what they're doing to me, then my life wouldn't be happy. Um, so this unconditional love is something that's bringing more love and happiness to me because I kind of understand why everybody's doing it. Um, you can sort of back off while they're doing what they're doing, but um, I'm going to live my life and do it my way and I really hope nobody is offended by it but if they are then that's on them and that I have to give that gift to other people and let other people have the example or the experience of learning what unconditional love is and how, how would the world change if we all experienced unconditional love and then started sharing that with everybody else just my perspective.